Hey guys, this is Brandon Smith. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video that um, will show off the level editor in Helena the Third. It's uh, something that everyone who's purchased the game will have, or has access to, and uh, we just haven't really taken any time to talk about it. So here we go. Uh, to get to the level editor, you press F1, and this is just that's very similar to how it will work in uh, Ensign One, the other game we released. And uh, from there, you are basically a free-floating camera in the level, and you can pick up and move anything in the level just by clicking on it. So if I want to move this thing right here, this pillar, I guess, I select it, and then you can move it with the, uh, the handles right there. Or if you select the center one, you can move it around on that plane. And to go back in the game, press F1 again, and it should be, yep, there it is, different spot. So, um, I just showed you the move tool. You'll also have the scale tool and the texture scale tool. So the scale tool um, should be pretty obvious. You select an axis and you can scale in that direction. Again, if you select the center, it's scales in all directions and the texture scale tool. It's most useful in the walls uh, if you want to add more repeats to a texture like so. You can also uh, move enemies in the same way. You can't scale them but you can uh, place enemies. Whenever you go into the level editor all, uh, all baddies will be uh, reset to their starting positions and from there you can modify that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so... Oh, right. And if you want to add more platforms, uh, each level has kinda all the, le all the uh, platforms that are in use up at the top. If you want to add more, you go to the Add Platform option and um, I don't know, let's say we want to add uh, something that's not in there already. Maybe some, yeah, maybe something from the Crystal Caves. Or, or whatever, Dino Rib Cage. Make sure nothing is selected. Press the Dino Rib Cage, and there you go. It should appear right in front of you. If you do have something selected and you press one of these buttons, it'll just appear on top. So Dino Root Cage and Bone. There's a bone right on top of it. Select the bone again and there you go. Anyway, uh, so one of the reasons I wanted to show you guys this was because there's a lot of levels that are level types that we wanted to make in Helena but just didn't really have time to make and you know I think there's a lot of options out there so I wanted to open it up to the community if you'd like to make some levels for this game uh, just send them to me I'll put the um, email address kind of in the news article where I'll post this send them to me and I'll play through them and if you know if I think they're they are what they say they are they're decent quality then I'll uh, add them kind of to the downloads area in this on this game's IndieDB page and that way you know, we can have like fan made levels I guess you make a level that's that's all a bunch of uh, floating islands suspended above nothingness if you want um, you know do whatever you want so uh, now I'll kind of just uh, modify this level to make something fun I guess and then I'll uh, end this video and let you guys have at it so um, maybe I just I was thinking maybe just had some uh, floating islands here Let's see what what do we want grass platform grass platform starts out way too big I don't know why let's see if that's yeah that's a good size you can jump on it great so you can uh, copy and paste items with the uh, Control C and Control V. 
and then, yep, should be copied and pasted. Or I'm sorry, maybe just control V is all you need. Don't actually need to copy anything. Oh. There you go. Got a little platform platform level to jump on. Oh, and if you want to select multiple objects, hold down shift and then you can move lots of islands or lots of platforms all at the same time. And I think that works for scaling on the texture scale as well, but I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, hmm, maybe I want this to, let me see if I can make a little staircase to maybe up here. So I want to modify this level. So we remove the old way of getting up. Let's just delete those. So now the only way to get up is, is uh, through there. All right. So now we'll want to put some enemies here. Uh, to add an enemy, you just uh, click Add Enemy. And I think Rock Monster might be Yes, rock monster. That's I don't know why it's drawn like that right now, but whatever. Actually, it looks like something got fixed. Luckily, that is fixed uh, in the actual game. Looks like just in the editor, there's a little bug. Okay, so we're adding some rock monsters to the platforms. Maybe a, uh, I don't know, something else. All right, so the enemy's AI is decided by the name of the model. So if, if it's a supported model, it'll just, um, I'm kind of tempted to add a shark. It'll just, uh, like, have the appropriate AI. So maybe orange droid. Let's put that off here. All right, while I'm doing this, I'm going to quickly Hey, guys, restart. sorry about that. Um, Kim Studio just crashed on me, so I guess I'll have to start over with our level and kind of show you the rest of what I wanted to show you. Uh, I think we had the grass platform. We had scaled it to normal size. Had a couple copied. Let me just make sure that's, yeah, well, good enough, good enough for uh, government work, as they say. I think I had some enemies, rock monsters. Probably should have had something selected. We had some droids as well. Er, droid? Eh, good enough. These are supposed to be a first person uh, enemy, but whatever. Okay, and I wanted to show you how you can add uh, power ups as well. So that's, that's just the same as everything else we've been doing. Head power up, and here you select kind of like what you want the power up to be. Um, we can do like a, a super health, so that will be flashing, and we uh, select the model from the list. And there you go, and those can be uh, copied and pasted just the same. Multiple copy and paste those. All right, let's uh, test out our makeshift level. And I have no idea. Okay, the enemies, uh, they all fell down here. Yeah, they aren't too good at staying on islands. I'll give them that. They're supposed to be. The yeah, rock monsters are supposed to know how to stay on the platform they start on, but... 
Doesn't always work. Okay, so I've done enemies, power-ups, platforms. The last thing I wanted to show you is how to link levels together. So to uh, basically like how to add these doors. Ah. Oh, that's right. I have infinite hover. Infinite hover for this tutorial. Yeah, it's still flashing. Oh, well, whatever. Add entrance. Okay. So, this should actually be game data. Here you uh, tell, basically you're telling the game what level you want this entrance to go to. The direction is which direction it should face. Node number is which, uh, which doorway it should correspond to in the level we want to go to. Let's go to level 3-1. And uh, size is one for the tank size and two for uh, the hero size, just way. So you know you can kind of play with that. I will mention that the uh, the level editor's making the level is pretty much the same uh, in all three modes of the game: first person, side scrolling, and this 3D here. The only uh, thing you have to really be worried about is that in um, in the uh, side scrolling you have to be worried about all the platforms more or less being aligned with each other. Here I'm gonna save this and start a start a new tutorial video real quick just making sure Cam Studio doesn't hey guys. crash again. Alright so uh, the last thing I'll kinda show you is a little bit on how to build a uh, first person, or I'm sorry, the uh, side scrolling level. So I'll load in one right here. I think yeah, level zero one is is this this world. So basically, uh, you're gonna start in the the um, well whatever doorway you start in, and you'll want to make sure that all the uh, platforms are aligned with that. So if I can find my tank real quick. So let's say I were to create some platforms real quick. Um, yeah, let me. Yeah, whatever. I'll I'll add in a platform. So here, brand new platform. Scale it back down to normal size. And uh, we'll copy and paste it. This is to kind of show what I'm about to do. I'll I'll move a few purposely off center. All right. So you select the door. You, that's, this is how I usually do it. Select the door you want to align with and press Control A, and that will align all the all the nearby platforms with that. And you're gonna want to do this before you add in any decoration. So like here we got these trees that have decided to line up when they're really not supposed to. But anyway, our platforms are also aligned, and that's what we wanted. Okay, so that's that. Um, I am hoping to add a few more abilities to the game, uh, like a grappling hook and a uh, maybe a shield for the tank. So hopefully there will be some more options later on. Um, for now, if you're testing out a later level, I just remembered I forgot to show off lighting. I'll show off lighting in a bit. All right. So first, if you're testing out a later level, and you'll need your abilities, like the later abilities, and maybe you just created this level so you don't have them you can press F11 in the editor and that will give you all the basic abilities if you press F12 that will give you infinite hover so that's what I've done that's why I have all the abilities and infinite hover if, uh, if I were to go to a um, area with water you'd see that, that this thing could swim as well actually let's load that up let's load up level 04 so here we go. Got some water and you can swim. Okay, uh, last thing is I'll show you lighting. You can press add light and that adds a light to the scene and you can set its color and its radius. Maybe I want to make it slightly brighter. Maybe I want to remove all the red. And we have this turquoise light here in the scene. 
hopefully that gives you enough to uh, kind of start to make your own levels. If you do actually decide to make like your own level set, you'll want to look at the levels uh, in the level editor because there are some things that you can't control from within the game. Like you can set a level to be um, first person or side scrolling in the game. You have to set that outside in a text editor. Like if we were to save this level, save it. Testing.txt. We could later open up testing.txt and kind of mess with some of the variables there. And you'll need to know that if you like want to create your entire game, basically. Anyway, um, that's it. Hope uh, some of you guys do take up the challenge and make some cool levels. That'd be cool. And like I said, I'll try and try and host or not host, but uh, like I don't know list uh, the best ones here on NDDB and on this community page right here and see what you guys do. Alright, take care.